Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have an Aritzia favorites for the current month of January 2022. Now Toronto is still in lockdown. The province of Ontario is technically in lockdown until January 31st, so I haven't been able to go anywhere really. There's still shopping allowed, but because it's sale season, everything is very hodgepodgey as you guys can see in my latest uh, Aritzia shop with me. So today I thought I would share with you guys my current favorites from Aritzia that I've been wearing time and time again for this month. I've been feeling a little bit lazy. I don't know what it is about the weather, but we had a huge snowstorm recently here. And although I wanna look put together, I still wanna wear my sweatpants and stuff. So my first favorite, is actually this set from Wilford Free. It's the souvenir set. Now I do have some cons about this because I wore this a couple times already. The material of this knit is really nice. It feels really nice and like sturdy and thick. However, I wore it twice and it already the pants have been giving me issues. So one, I was walking around out and about and it like snagged on something, which this material you'd think is not something that would snag easy, but it does. And then, like I said, I've only worn this pant two times and you can already see, I don't know if you can tell, Okay, you can see there that the pilling has started to happen. So it doesn't look all that nice. Of course, this is the crotch area, so it's pilling because it's rubbing against the crotch. And when I do have the pants on, technically you can't notice it because the sweater, the souvenir sweater goes down past it. I love pairing this with a pair of white boots. I love pairing it and making it look like just an all white ensemble. I wear a size two on the top and then a medium on the bottoms. They fit me very well. I'm 5'4 and they just hit really awesome on my body frame. So I've been really loving this set. That's just one con that I really wanted to talk to you guys about because I know a lot of you guys really do care for you know my wear and tear reviews that set is something that is sold out and you can't get your hands on right now you can actually get your hands on this new set that i discovered i went to sherway with my friend alex we didn't do any like real filming there but she showed me this suit and this is the time pant by group by babaton it's made of this like really like it feels velvety almost niche material and it is gorgeous i have it in rich mocha brown in a size medium on the bottoms and obviously I will share what it looks like. Once again, it looks amazing with white boots. There's a matching top to go with it. And this is the Traverse Rich Mocha Brown Large um, Turtleneck. So it is so cute. It's the same material. There's also one that's just like a crew neck that's available. And I think if you wear this with like a nice pair of boots, it really elevates the look of having like sweats but not sweats at the same time. I personally just feel so like not put together when I'm wearing the sweatsuits. They like there's a time and place for them for me in my life and when I'm at home lounging around like I typically wear the sweatsuits but then if I want to wear sweatsuits technically but I want to go out and run some errands these are perfect like the souvenir set and this like times set by group by Babaton these are perfect sets. Um, the Traverse Turtleneck is also by Group by Babaton, and then I got this in a size large. I wanted the top to be a little bit more baggy as opposed to it being a fitted top. And speaking of the same realm, I'm really into these leggings that I was so against earlier when I got them. These are the Distill leggings by Babaton. I have them in a size medium. They're just a ribbed legging and sorry there's a lot of dog hair on them because I just wore them but there's a slit on the bottom they look really really cool if you wear like an oversized sweater on top it's really nice there's actually a matching top now that you can get with them I think it's by Wilfred and I'm actually gonna place an order for that item but just to match it up with this so I can have like a whole like ribbed set to go in the same direction with those matching suits so then I'd have a black set and then it would be like a collared shirt. I did pair it with the Moscato and it does look okay. However, I just think with like the texture of the ribbing, a ribbed textured top going with the ribbed textured bottoms would be a lot more fitting than having the Moscato where the Moscato is like a pajama button up essentially. So I think that would be really nice to put together. But yeah, so far I don't have that 
I don't have the top at the moment. I need to order it still, but yeah, definitely super, super cute. Love this. I think this one is probably if I'm feeling a little bit dressy and I want to just look really put together. I did purchase this top a while ago. You would have seen in one of my previous vlogs. This is the Ambrosia Knit Ribbed Top by Babaton. It is stunning with these pants. I've been obsessed with wearing my effortless pants. I have them in birch and I have them in black and I actually have them in both sizes so my black ones are cropped and they fit me perfectly and then I have them in the birch version which are the regular length. These are so good because like I just put them on and I look so put together. You can wear them with like a little t-shirt and then a blazer over top. They're super versatile. I'm very happy that I got both those colors. I would actually love a brown pair as well to wear around. Now that I put on a little bit of holiday weight, they are a little bit snug on me, but it's fine. We will get back to, you know, the regular weight later on but yeah I really have been enjoying wearing the effortless they just look so chic I love the whole baggy look of them and they just make every outfit look so good and lastly I did want to mention I'm been obsessed with wearing this just as a throw on if I don't know what to wear at all that day and I've already worn all my like matching outfits then I always put on this Sunday best Cooper cardigan just over top with like a pair of jeans or a pair of Riley pants um, or sorry the modern utility pants they just look really good together this one is in a medium I love how this cardigan is just like baggy and it's the perfect crop I don't have to wear anything underneath it. I can just wear it as is. It's very like similar. It's very similar to the new plunge in the sense that I typically, if I wear this new plunge, I don't wear anything underneath it, but it's a little bit more on the casual end, which is really nice. And the matte pearl color is gorgeous. You can see it's this beautiful creamy color. I think there's a green and there's also a rich mocha brown as well. And I love the knit detailing on it. It's just so interesting and adorable. I think most items that I'm sharing in my favorites this month are actually still current. Some things might just be out of stock, like the souvenir set, the distilled pant, I think you can still get in the brown as of when I'm filming this. Um, the Times outfit is definitely new, and then effortless pants there's been an abundance of, and the Ambrosia top, although that's not a favorite, if that is something that you're interested in, it's definitely still available. But the Cooper is also still available, everything is still as of right now when I'm filming this current so hopefully when, by the time you see this video you can still grab some of the pieces if you're interested in any of them but yeah those are my favorites alright guys thank you so much for watching my favorites of this month I hope you guys enjoyed I am slowly trying to trickle down on that list you guys have given me I asked you guys for some video ideas and you've given me a huge list I'm trying to work down on those also if you're wondering why I haven't posted any of the clothing I wanted to put up for sale yet I just have been so busy I have not had any time to do so so hopefully I will be able to get that up and on shop hello harley soon but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to follow me on instagram at underscore hello harley make sure to follow me on tiktok at hello harley and i will see you guys in the next video bye